Yeah, very good morning to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us on our sunrise safari. As you can see, we have got a beautiful sunrise happening here at uh, Juma Private Game Reserve in the Sabi Sand, South Africa. Good morning, everybody. My name is Cedric, and behind the camera with me, we've got the one and only Muscles and Paul. So yes, it is a beautiful morning, not a breath of wind. There has been a leopard that's been soaring around Gauri Dam and I know that Trishala is heading towards that area. She's going to go and try and follow up on that uh, leopard. Apparently maybe Molawati, you never know. I have made my way down towards uh, the den site and of course uh, June is here, as you can clearly see in frame. So this is a female spotted hyena and uh, this female has had two little cubs unfortunately we can't see them now they are buried inside of the inside of the termite mound inside of the den site must probably fast asleep uh, maybe she was out somewhere and got a snack somewhere because they are top scavengers you must remember spotted hyenas when they go out at night time they'll look for anything to scavenge on as well as they do also do their own hunting so I mean, most of uh, most of my <coughs> sightings with hyenas has been for, from scavenging. But <coughs> the guys, some of the guys here in the Sabi Sands, have actually witnessed some of these clans actually hunting for themselves. And when they do hunt for themselves, they'll look for something that's injured, maybe like uh, impala or any sort of animal. If it's uh, pretty much injured, then they will try and take that opportunity to try and bring it down and kill it. So yeah, but for now. I haven't seen that. Unfortunately, I haven't really seen hyenas doing that, uh, the hunt itself. It would be nice. No, I'm not saying it would be nice, but it would be quite interesting. Look at this. Oh my goodness, this is perfect. Oh, shame. Uh, one of the guides was parked next to us, Rob, and he said he could hear some air coming out of our tyre. Hopefully that's not the case. I don't hear it, but I'll inspect just now. Look at this. Look at that perfect little shadow. As you can see, they're in excellent condition. They are full. Two of them have just lied down. Looks like the third one is going to lay next there, hopefully. What a beautiful environment to actually view these three male cheetahs. Wow. Myself and Morgan, I think our adrenaline levels are a little bit elevated this morning because it's just so cool to see them in this area. And, I mean, the ridge. Uh, yesterday we had that beautiful elephant sighting of the elephants climbing up the hill. And, uh, yeah, this is where they came up. And now the cheetahs, they're sort of in this area as well. Wow. Look at this. Incredible. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to power this radio off for now. There we go. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, when, yo, when we are on a sighting like this, it's sort of, we get lost for words. For a moment, you just don't really know what to say because it's just so beautiful and you're in awe. Yes, thanks, Liam. We have got the lions, this pride of lions, the Talamati breakaways. This is the female with the little cub. I wonder if the... Oh, there's a cub! It's just behind her. Sorry, I just got excited. I didn't know that the cub was there. <laughs> yes. But they are busy hunting buffalo. So there's buffalo just north of us. So she's just looking at those buffaloes and slowly heading into that direction. But a little bit risky because she has got that little cub with her. As you can see, a little eight-week-old cub that's just following mommy. and going through all the grass. So I'm hoping that she will give that a couple of little indication just to maybe hang back um, 
because the Talamati Pride, well, Talamati Breakaway Pride consists of two females now, uh, five kind of, we're going to call them sub adults now, but they're not really sub adults, they're about a year and three and four months old, and then of course this little cub. And um, so the two older females will definitely instigate the hunt. I don't know about the sub adults, I think they will tend to just kind of witness, or I can say not witness, but observe the female's way of stalking, and that's just like a learning curve. Apparently the S8 male is here as well, so we are trying to look for the S8 male, um, but uh, we can't really see him, but we will try and reposition very shortly. Well, we're sitting here, of course we repositioned and uh, we could get now a better view of the S8 male. So this is the, the male that pretty much is the dominant male of this area, so this is, uh, we are in his territory. He's got a, quite a large territory. But he hasn't got many prides because he is a, pretty much a single male. So usually males will have a coalition, but with him, he's by himself, he hasn't got any brothers. Maybe he's going to come out to sunbathe. The sun's reaching a really nice temperature. It's very pleasant. Here we go. Ah, you are stunning. Look at that color of green, that olive color. Oh, I just love it. Are you not going to climb out? Not every dam in Medikwe has a crocodile, but there are a few, and I think there are two big ones at Jackie's Dam now, which sadly we can really never show you. It's also a wonderful dam. There's some crocodiles in the river, croc drift, hence the name. Oh. Almost looks like a snake. And I'm trying to think, oh, sorry, look at that. Look at the starlings. Oh, there we go. Uh, thank you to everybody for your questions and your comments that you have sent through to us this morning on our sunrise safari uh, from, our, from the wild earth scene. Good. Bye. <laughs>